we recently had the sad news that one of our teachers passed away and it, it was really hard because he was such a such a kind loving person and he was so generous and he'd always want to do good for other people it was just so tragic that he 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 passed away from like a really fatal heart attack rest in peace mr kozak and um what i want to tell you guys is if you want to do something you should go do it because you don't know how much time you have left you know not even like for you but the people around you like at least he can say that he he left doing what he loved like he loved refereeing he loved being a teacher he loved being a substitute and literally we thought that he was going to make it because he was signs, showing signs of improvement and we're like yeah should we, should we go visit him in the hospital and we didn't end up getting around to doing so and then now he's gone and it's just it's just hard you know like it's just it's not fair that your life can just be taken away just like that you could be doing really good and then next thing you know you get hurt and then you go to the hospital and that's it so it taught me a lot about going after what you really want because you don't know when your last day is going to be right? and you don't want to regret anything so um, to Mr. Kozak and his family rest in peace, rest in paradise and just always follow your dreams, right? Don't don't let your dreams be dreams, guys. Make it into reality. Uh, I didn't want this vlog to be sad. Like I wanted to be to be happy and to celebrate his his life and what he did for like the community and everyone around him. But yeah, it's crazy because he was um, just recently we went to the Philippines for my cousin's wedding. It was so much fun. The only reason why we went to the Philippines was because Mr. Kozak was able to cover the shifts for my sister because she's also a teacher at Holy Cross. So because of his, his kindness, we were able to enjoy our life and have fun with our family and friends. But um, he's in a good place now. He's in a better place. And it, it's always going to be with us. I know sometimes it's hard. You go through a lot of things. A lot of people, they, they can't handle life, you know, and then they take it out on others. And you know, the, the biggest thing I would say about feeling like that is a lot of people take it out on themselves. The reason why a lot of people don't go after their dreams is because they doubt themselves and they have that self-doubt, not only from people around them, but the people that they're with, like the voice inside their head, you know? That's why I'm, I'm here and I want to tell you guys whatever you want to do. If you can dream it, you can do it. And if you want it, you should go get it.